After Austin and Catherine McBroom responded regarding their divorce, they have both come forward once again. And some may even go as far as saying that Austin McBroom has completely lost his mind. Is he starting to regret the way everything unfolded? Find out in today's video. All right, everybody, welcome back to a new day of the Curtis and Jerry show. I mean, I thought this was all over, but here we are again, ladies and gentlemen, talking about the McBroom family. When's it gonna end? I mean, I just can't help myself. Austin has clearly lost his mind doing backflips in the middle of a road. Catherine has come forward on Snapchat explaining a bunch of things that's been happening. And then for some odd reason, you've got Austin McBroom laying over the toilet, nearly crying, wearing his ex-wife's shower cap. Oh, I mean, damn Austin, slay queen. <laughs> but not just that, he also responded on Snapchat, and we're gonna take a look at that shortly. I do believe that he's kind of playing this kind of game plan of trying to win some custody over the children, so we're gonna take a look at that. I don't know why I kind of did that dance then. It, there's nothing fun about losing custody to your children, is there? Why am I dancing? I, I need to stop. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I think we should do this video in a format, which is kind of taking it by the level. So we're gonna start off with level one, Austin McBroom, and then obviously level 10 which is absolutely and utterly insane. But just in case you're not aware, I did make a few videos on the situation about Austin and Catherine's divorce. So if you're gonna go and check that out, that's no problem at all. But real quick, they're having a divorce. we hey. They both released Instagram statements regarding their divorce. And they both kind of said the similar thing. And the next day after that, Catherine and Austin both posted videos to their Snapchat where they were both in cars for some reason. Should I have filmed this video in a car? And in these Snapchats, Austin clearly looked way more distressed than Catherine. Catherine was kind of glowing, she was in her bad bitch era. And to be honest, Austin looked like he hadn't slept in days. It's all the nights he stayed up looking at Catherine's pictures and old Ace family videos. Someone told me, love is only... Good times. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the video that Austin released on Snapchat, which I honestly believe is in good faith of trying to win some custody over the children. So let's take a look. Good morning, everybody. Just pulled up to church, about to get that good word in. As you guys know, I've been trying to get closer to the man above. And uh, I've been really trying, y'all. I've been really trying. And I've been feeling great. Really locked in and focused right now. Been really focused on my body, my mind, and my spirit. And uh, yeah, y'all. If you if you around me or you you're close with me, you know I'm locked in right now. <laughs> um, been hitting the gym every day, been running miles every day, been trying to eat a little better. <laughs> it's a struggle, been trying to eat better. <laughs> you get him, Austin. Yeah. Consistently going to church, been you know trying to live the word, and uh, been feeling good, y'all. Been feeling good, especially you know during a time like this. You gotta make sure your mind's right, and you gotta hang around good people. And for anybody going through any hard times right now. Um, just know that, you know, you got me for support, um, you got the man above for support, and uh, we're here for you. Well, it's great to know that if I'm ever going through a really difficult time, I can go to Austin and he'll be there for me. So this is pretty much Austin just blabbering on for a whole minute on how much of a better person he's become already within a week. So, I mean, that's great. At least he's trying, right? But I honestly think that Austin made this Snapchat with it in his mind that maybe, just maybe, the judge will see his Snapchats. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? I've been doing five kilometer sprints recently. I'm doing really well. I'm great in the mind. I'm really capable judge. I mean, uh, guys at home watching this video, I'm very strong in my set. Shut up, Austin. Is this for the judge? Is it for the judge? Look, but look, I can't bash him too much yet. At least he's trying to be a better person, okay? It's not easy going through a divorce, I can imagine. And also, guys, just a real piece of advice for Austin real quick. You could have done everything you just said while you were with Catherine. Maybe that would have saved your divorce. What's the matter? You couldn't be asked or something? Too busy smashing other women, perhaps? And if you thought that was insane, ladies and gentlemen, check out this next clip from Austin. Remember in the last video when I said that Austin was actually going to be moving house into the same street as Catherine? And I assumed that it was for him to keep an eye on Catherine, see what kind of men are coming in and out of the house. Well, he's finally found a house and look how close he's living all right y'all so listen up listen 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 so i just pulled up to the house right just got back from looking at all these beautiful homes the homes you guys just saw and don't get me wrong they're beautiful absolutely gorgeous but they're like 30 minutes away from my kids and that's just way too far for me and so you guys haven't seen the house yet but my first choice the house that i really 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 want is like super close to my kids and it's like golf cart distance right not only that, the house sits on one acre. Like the lot is one acre. If anybody knows how big a one acre is, it's massive. So much room for activities. First of all, one acre is massive. No, it's not. It's half the size of a football field. Still more than me though. But you're telling me, right, that Austin McBroom is five minutes away from Catherine. He's gonna be in the window in the nighttime like a security camera watching her house to make sure no big bloke with muscles is going up her driveway. As I've mentioned before, I do believe that Catherine was the one that wanted this divorce. I mean, after all, all the things Austin have done, Catherine's no angel herself. But let's be honest, 
Austin did the dirty. He cheated. And a lot of you at home as well actually suggested that this whole thing might be fake, which to be honest with you, if it is, that is wild. The day that I come on YouTube but I say, guys, the Ace family, they've come out, the divorce was fake. That is the day I strangle Jerry. <laughs> And also, what's wrong with being 30 minutes away? I'm pretty sure this guy is a Lamborghini. If he put his foot down, he could make it in 10. Austin released this on Snapchat, where someone basically asked him if he'd be willing to make a, a final Ace Family video saying goodbye to everybody. And Austin just kind of just, you know, rolled it off his shoulder like, guys, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> we're still a family, right? <laughs> I mean, we are, right? We're still together. Guys, listen. Listen. We're not saying goodbye. Okay? It's more like see you later in our next chapter. Okay? That's what it's like. So, we're not saying goodbye to each other, okay? Just know that. Um, you'll still be seeing us here or there in, you know, some YouTube videos. You'll definitely be seeing the kids. Um, so, it's not, we're not gonna, we're not saying goodbye. Okay? Just go, okay? We love you. Okay, so you can see, guys, that Austin's mindset clearly still thinks that he's... <laughs> He still feels like he's married to Catherine with the way he's speaking. I don't think he's truly accepted it yet that Catherine no longer wants to be married to him. They're getting a divorce, but they have three kids together. Why are you all surprised if they still end up being around each other? Well, that's the whole point of a divorce is to be separated. All you got to do is just drop the kids off, as I just explained. You don't have to see each other. You don't have to walk in and see each other. But from the way Austin is explaining everything, it seems like as if they're going to be around each other all the time, like literally seeing each other in person. And he just said now that you're going to see us here now and again, you know. Once in a while, you'll see us together. Really? The Ace family. It's meant to be a family. You guys are separated. The Ace separation. The Ace divorce. The Ace not a family. <laughs> I mean, just look at Austin's reaction when he finally realizes that he's only five minutes away from Catherine's house. I can do cartwheels. I can do backflips. We did it. Now, I mean this in the literal sense, right? My guy is doing cartwheels because he found out how close he's going to be to Catherine. He's losing his mind. He's literally losing his mind, and he's in a state of euphoria right now. I mean, oh, he's only like a couple of minutes away from Catherine. What more could he want, right? We did it, his family. We did it. My wife wants a divorce, but still, she can't get rid of me. <laughs> now, in a few moments, we will indeed look at Austin wearing Catherine's shower cap, where, to be honest here, it's the most embarrassing video ever. Everybody's making fun of her on the internet. It's hilarious, in fact. But before that, we are going to take a look at what Catherine said, as I did title this video about Catherine. Um, so let's just take a look at what she had to say about the situation. Um, update on Austin. So Austin was supposed to move to his new place yesterday. Um, if you follow him on his Snapchat, he's talked about that. But um, he was really sick yesterday morning. He woke up with like really, really bad fever, um, really high fever. And um, it was raining and it was kind of like a weird day. So he just kind of like laid down all day and just rested and went to the doctor to get some medicine because got really, really sick. Um, so I'm just here praying for him because, you know, he's going through a whole purge right now. <laughs> um. <laughs> she genuinely can't be fucked. She can't be asked, can she? She's just fucked, isn't she? She, she cannot be bothered with this. But no, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, she seems to be doing great. As I mentioned already, you know, she's no angel, okay? They've both done things wrong. Arguably, Austin did worse, but still. It's good to see that they're starting their own journeys of life, I guess you could say. <laughs> Five minutes away from each other. But as you just heard, Catherine did just say that Austin is sick, and that's the clip that we're going to be looking at in a second. He's still living with Catherine at the moment, but he's in pursuit of looking for houses. Obviously, we, he's found a house now. He got really sick in the process of looking for houses. So, I just want to talk to Austin man-to-man -man real quick. <clears throat> you know, Austin, when I was a child, sometimes when I had a big exam the next day in school, I would tell my mother that I'm really sick and that I'm not well at all, hoping that she will say that I don't have to go anymore. Pretty sure you guys know where I'm coming from with this, right? With that said, let's take a look at this most ridiculous video I've ever seen in my life, all right? <laughs> I mean, the image alone is just enough, isn't it? Let's check it out, guys. Oh my god, yo. I finally just got out of bed. I got chills and fever, I'm gonna sweat from head to toe. What should I do, y'all? Hopefully I don't have the C word. <laughs> should I go to the hospital just to like make sure? What, I, what should I do, y'all? What should I do? I'm gonna try to take a cold shower. And don't, 
don't mind this, don't don't laugh at me. This, this auntie thing looking crazy, but for some reason it's making me feel better. This is Catherine shit. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, please leave it below. I'm gonna try to get in the shower. And then maybe attempt to go to the hospital. <laughs> Catherine shower cap on as well. My guy is just on a different planet right now. Oh my days. Ooh. I just got out of bed. Ooh. What should I do, y'all? He's just hoping and praying. Catherine texts him, Hey, you okay? <laughs> 100%. 100%. That's right. That's spot on. He's really hoping Catherine would see this and just reach out to him, you know? He's like, look, look, baby, it's okay. I love you. I love you, baby. It's all right. Let's get back together. You really mean that? Nah. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, he's got to be capping, right? <laughs> you ever just lay on the ground in the shower? Bye, Skullfish. This guy's a fool. Also, he claims that he was ill and that he couldn't really move, but the same day he posted like 400 stories of a house tour. So, don't really understand, but this is him anyway. I just made it back to the house. I'm gonna go inside and get some rest. I feel like I gotta throw up. <laughs> <coughs> what is that image with him and the doctor, man? <laughs> See him with the doctor. What is going on? He looks like a fucking school kid that's come for his jab injections or some shit. <laughs> Look at him. When you're sick, you start appreciating in your life so much more. Bro, you've got the flu or something, man. You haven't got cancer. You've got the flu. Chill the fuck out, man. I mean, he's clearly trying to disguise his tears as being under the weather, but really, he's just really, really missing Catherine. He went through this spree of, like, posting thirst traps. Don't really know why. Um, so let's take a look at these thirst traps. Feels so good to take a cold shower after a workout. Oh yeah, got that giga chad face going on. See the jawline, baby. You know what we're saying. And to know that he's naked in this picture is what makes it that much more uncomfortable. You know, he's just standing there. Actually, where's my phone? Ah, oh, fuck. I can't find my phone. Just to know he's standing there taking a picture in the shower with his little muck broom swinging about. That's fucking awkward. Yo, look at him. Yeah, boy. He has daughters right behind him as well, and he's swinging his mini McBroom around like that. You know, the hips, motion of the ocean. McBroom, stop it! This is illegal, okay? This is a criminal act right here, okay? Obviously, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. You know, it's not a criminal act. It's totally fine to do that. It's just a thirst trap. But still, you can't ignore the fact that it's cringe. Oh, yeah, it feels so good to take a cold shower after work. Sometimes it burns. To, you know, he's going through the motions, all right? He's going through the motions, okay? With the whole video of him being sick, honestly, I just think he's trying to extend the time he can spend around Catherine. <laughs> Probably. But just for you guys at home, remember, baby, stay strong, all right? You guys are warriors. You guys are tough, mentally resilient. Not like Austin McBroom crying over a toilet wearing his ex wifes shower cap. I mean, what's the next thing that can happen? Either they come out and say it's fake, or they both start falling out in person and talking shit about each other on social media. We'll have to see. But if any other videos you want to see, guys, let me know in the comment section. Just comment down below, baby. I'll respond okay if you want to see any other kind of videos let me know and with that said stay strong warriors see you in the next video